It seemed a lot of kids were interested in writing and expressing themselves through writing after school. And so I thought it might be a good idea to think about trying something in the area since I had a lot of friends who were writers and teachers. And so I went to Toronto to see Dave Eggers read. And Dave Eggers is the founder of 826 Valencia, which is a, um, a, liter a literary arts center and homework help place in San Francisco. So I thought on a smaller scale we could try something like that in Pittsfield. And so I got some friends together. We um, started in the library at the Berkshire Athenaeum, and we helped a few kids for a couple of hours, two days a week. And um, it expanded when people got to know about what we were doing. We got a woman named Mrs. Norma Roofer to donate this place rent-free so we could begin taking donations and hosting students here for extra help regularly. And we've been doing that for the past three years. Where we start with youth, or what our philosophy is, is to start with our being open after school so they can come and get help with their homework. Anything involving reading and writing across the curriculum will offer help. Uh, things like research papers, critical essays, book reports, uh, creative writing assignments, anything that involves reading and writing. Um, if a student comes in and has trouble understanding something they're reading, we can do help them with that too. We also offer creative workshops in poetry, writing short stories, um, drama, anything that any volunteer who comes to us, if they have a particular passion about what they do. Film Club is a club that we use to talk about films and on occasion make films. We made a movie with puppets. Um, whacking a bigger puppet. I didn't write the script. Movie night thing here? That's this Friday. What's the movie this Friday? They're going to show who killed the electric car. Oh, oh yeah, Mel Gibson's in that movie. No, Mel Gibson's not that movie. But I thought Ebert and Roper said he was. Movie night is my attempt at starting a, a fun event in Pittsfield that um, teenagers 13 to 18 can, can go to for free and I started out showing really fun movies and ones you know classics that everybody has seen and now I'm trying to expose people to um, different films that they might not have seen right now we're doing a documentary. Word Street is a place where all you um, from elementary school to high school can go for free and work on their personal writing or on their English homework or their SAT prep and MCAS prep for free. I heard about Word Street because I used to be on the library commission and they visited and explained what Word Street was and I wasn't really interested at the time but I was on the email list and they sent out an email about a poetry reading that I thought sounded like a lot of fun and since then they've introduced me to a lot of great writing that I do and adults and I've been hooked ever since. Just about out every day we have some kind of exercise. We did lipograms once. Do you know what a lipogram is? No, it's a lipogram. You have to write something or rewrite something without using a certain letter or a certain word. The book is actually published and it gets sold in Barnes and Noble. And here we're the editorial board. We decide what goes in, what doesn't, and what needs dusting. There's another group on Tuesdays for high schoolers, and they're doing the same thing with the high school submissions. Word Street is important to Berkshire County for a few reasons. The first reason that always comes to mind is that we're sitting in the middle of a city, an urban area, where many students Many talented students cannot afford the costs of regular tutoring, SAT instruction, um, the hundreds of dollars. It costs hundreds of dollars to take these courses, and Word Street offers them for free. And not only that, but we have licensed teachers and professional writers offering these. For the rest of Berkshire County, 
it offers pe offers kids who aren't athletes necessarily or who aren't in drama we offer them a place to come and express themselves we have a lot of things that they can do everything from um, hanging out and reading a book quietly to researching on the internet to making their own magazine um, we're trying to fill in the gaps that the schools for financial or for whatever other reason can't um, can't satisfy All right, can we give can we give her back her papers? And can you bring these back next time so we can work on the second half of it? I mean, you all nodded your heads. Don't be afraid to say anything like this. What I just said, and then you were nodding. Yeah, I was thinking of it. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Say it because that is important stuff. What do you think? 